Hello. Oh, this thing. Oh, happiness is a habit. I've broken my finger. It's the first thing I've ever broken. I've broken the, my programming. Now, whilst I achieved a level of mastery over myself through self-discipline, circular reasoning, by disciplining myself I become more disciplined. By using that willpower that you feel when you first give up smoking, to carry you through to the point at which you can take it or leave it. Even though you know it's going to be difficult to quit again after you take it up again, you keep on going. You keep taking your awareness back to your breath, back to your heart, until it becomes a habit, habit forming, forming those paths connectivity and communication within yourself, within your brain, neuronal firing patterns of electricity and energy. I believe in you. It's taken me a long time to get back my creativity and to have it be naturally occurring daily, hourly, minutely, moment by moment in the now. It's not something I'm trying to do, it's something that's coming out of me. So, yes, you have addictions to different types of food, to different types of behaviour, to things like nicotine and the additives within that tobacco. That's what helped me. And I know all these things about factory farmed food and processed food and stuff you buy in the supermarket but luckily when I'm poor I find it easier to quit smoking because I haven't got the money to buy it and when I'm poor I haven't got the money to go up the shops and spend money on crap food crisps chocolate bars I make chocolate it's in the fridge over the way and my friend over there this is her place so I deliberately left it in the fridge. But I've got a little bit in a tin in the corner over there in the windowsill. So I can treat myself every now and again. I'm being hard on myself in order to give myself a break. I'm disciplining myself so that I don't need anyone outside of me. No government, no parents, no one else to give me my rules and regulations. It's natural law that applies to me. I wake up in the morning, I get up early, I stretch. I wake up naturally, slowly, stretching in bed. Hmm. Okay, now I'm ready to open my eyes. Now I'm ready to face the day. But I'm not going to jump out of bed. I don't have to. I've got no alarm. I can't do anything at the moment anyway. Which is the universe telling me, don't do anything. Get used to feeling lonely. Get used to missing people and reach out and say hi. Get used to not doing anything today apart from a load of pressure washing. Which has made my fingers sore. But oh well, it's going to get better. I'm starting to do energy work. That's, I'm feeling it within. I'm starting to connect. Not just to the earth, not just the source, but inside myself. I'm starting to become the energy that I feel in my hands when I do energy healing. And as a healer, yes, it looks bad that I've got a sling on and that I'm looking after myself. But I'm looking after myself. At last, I'm finally loving myself and caring enough about myself. You know, today I had a really luxuriant bath. It didn't last long. I had a little bit of a soak in the warm water. I washed my hair. I washed myself. I touched every part of my body, or I, I didn't actually wash and touch every part of myself. But I suggest you do get in touch with every single part of you. When was the last time you stroked the back of your own neck? When was the last time you washed every single inch of your skin and slowly bathed it, gently, lovingly, 
with something to moisturize your skin. Some coconut oil, some olive oil in the bath water. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a bit greasy when you come to wash the bath down afterwards. Good habits are what replace the things that tell you that you're not good enough. Good thoughts change every negative thought into a positive thought, every negative image into a positive image. I'm starting to see the journeys that I bring through for you. And I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue on this decision I made not to drink alcohol this year, for a year. Not to eat processed food. I'd rather go hungry. Even if I'm offered mince pies, I'm going to say no thank you. Occasionally, when offered something, I may agree. But I'm going to stand in my power more. I'm going to say how I feel. I'm going to say what I mean. And that can change from day to day. There's nothing wrong with today. I have to be hard on myself. If by tomorrow I've given myself a break, there's nothing wrong with that. It might look strange to other people. Yesterday I'm drinking alcohol with my friend and eating a mince pies. Today, I would probably say, look, no thank you. I've enjoyed drinking alcohol with you over the past several weeks. But I decided that January the 1st, I'm not built it up into a big thing. But I feel great. My routines are helping. I feel brilliant. I can feel the ache in my finger. I can see it shrinking. I can see it healing. Because I'm revealing to myself my true strengths. And the true experience of a human life. What you can see, taste, smell, touch. Experience, sense, hear. I think I've got all the, sen all the senses. so much more going on in life if you just give yourself a chance to be less numb if you can get away from the city even better there's so much there that makes us harden ourselves off just the energies of everyone else who have no sense of community who will rip you to shreds verbally if not physically if they get a chance, if they think they have something you need that they want. That's how it works. Everyone out there is wanting stuff that they don't need. All I have is what I need. I've got rid of everything that I don't need. What's left are mementos of a life not lived well. Let's face it, let's be honest, addiction was hell. My life was miserable, and I thought everybody else was too. That's enough. Happiness is a habit. And for a little while, you can feel unworthy of it. But you are worth being happy. You are worth being loved. You can forgive yourself before you die. You can change the way that you see the world, your perspective. Just be careful what you put inside your body. And love this thing. It's the only one you've got. Love this life. It's the only one you've got as far as you know. Love the people around you. And do your best to let it show. Hug them. Kiss them. Get them into the habit of holding on to them before you let them go. You don't know how long this is going to last. Don't put off that conversation with yourself. About this life. About this moment. I love you. Enjoy. The rest of your day. Orange.